Fans are mourning the loss of home and away star Johnny Ruffo, who has died at the age of 35. The Australian actor, who also gained fame on the country's edition of The X Factor, passed away following a six-year battle with brain cancer. According to a statement on Johnny's Instagram page on November 9th, the young star passed away peacefully while surrounded by his family and partner, Tawny Sims. The statement reads, It is with a heavy heart that today we had to farewell our beloved Johnny. He was a very talented, charming, and sometimes cheeky boy. Johnny was very determined and had a strong will. It continues, he battled all the way to the end and fought as hard as he could. Such a beautiful soul with so much more to give. We all love you, Johnny, and will remember you for all the joy you brought to our lives. Before being cast in the Australian soap opera Home and Away in 2013, Johnny landed on The X Factor Australia in 2011, where he shared his love of performing. He also won the country's edition of Dancing with the Stars the following year and starred in the TV miniseries House of Bond in 2017. The same year, he was diagnosed with a rare brain cancer. In the musician's 2022 book, No Finish Line, he opened up about the ups and downs of fame, as well as his diagnosis. A book synopsis for his story reads, Johnny found it hard to resist the weekend-long parties, drugs, alcohol, and fair-weather friends that came with the territory. He had started suffering from severe headaches when his girlfriend, Tawny, noticed something was also wrong with his speech. Johnny was ultimately diagnosed with a rare brain cancer with which, despite a period of remission, he still battles today. But in a strange way, Johnny thinks the cancer actually saved his life. His cancer returned in 2020 and he documented his health battle on Instagram, writing that year, after an unexpected week of seizures and excruciating headaches, it is with a heavy heart that I have to let you know I now have another huge battle ahead of me as my brain cancer has returned, though I will dig deep and beat this disease again.